morning. I'm out for my morning walk with my puppy dog. This is my view today. There she is. It's very eerie this morning. It's, um, that's the noisy construction. <laughs> it's very eerie this morning. We had a lot of rain last night. Um, so we're just hanging out in the trees now. Um, but I just want to ask when you do your best thinking. I've been out for maybe half an hour, 40 minutes this morning, and I have about 50 ideas that have come into my head. <laughs> now, I can't action all of them. I'm gonna to have to go home and filter them and work out which ones I actually wanna do right now and which ones are just more ideas and creativity and which ones I might park for later. Um, yeah, Lil. But this is the best time for me. This is when I get my ideas. This is when I get my inspiration. This is when I get clarity and understanding of everything that's going on. Um, so I'm just posing the question to you because if you keep yourself stuck at your laptop, if you keep yourself stuck in the office, um, stuck in the day to day, then you're not going to be able to get the ideas and the clarity and the recalibration that you need. Um, no, this way. Oh, she's going for a swim. Um, you need to get away from your laptop. You need to get out of the office. You need to get out of the house. You need to go somewhere that feels great for you. Now for me, it's the run around the lake in the morning. Um, I love the birds, the water, the open space. I'm a country girl. I need greenery. I need trees around me. I need space to really feel alive. Um, I don't think I'd cope in a big city for too long. <laughs> um, but that's me. You, you have to find where your play, happy place is. You have to find that place that lights you up and makes you come alive and sorry, <laughs> um, helps you reset and recalibrate when things are getting tough, when things are getting hard, when things are going great, when you're feeling tired, um, whatever it is, you need to find that space that allows you to reset in your way. Um, you cannot keep going 24 seven. You need to reset, you need to recalibrate and you need to let your ideas come through, not the ideas of everyone else. Like, don't get stuck in consumption, seeing what everyone else is doing and then trying to find your way from there. You need to, sure, do some of that for inspiration, but you need to allow your own creativity to come through. Come on, Lil. So here she comes. Can you see her? Hi, puppy. Good morning. Um, so that is my little reminder for you today you got me with my bed hair, my puffy sleepy eyes. Um, it's really glary and there's a lot of bugs, hence why the sunglasses are on this morning. Um, I can probably take those off. But I keep getting bugs in my eyes when I'm out in the morning, so that's why I've got the sunnies on when there's really no sun today. <laughs> anyway, um, give yourself the time to reset. Give yourself the time away from your laptop and your workplace, whatever it is you're doing to find your happy place, to feel your way to success, I call it. It's my new little mantra, well, not new. It's a mantra I've been tenting to myself for years now because if I, don't, if I feel stressed, if I feel heavy, if I feel restricted, if I feel like I'm blocked and nothing's coming through and it all feels hard and heavy, I know I need to reset and recalibrate and that's when I come outside to my happy place. I'm very lucky that this lake is just at the bottom of my street. So I'm very lucky. It only takes me a couple of minutes and I'm here. I'm at the lake. Um, but find a happy place. It could just be sitting outside in your garden. It could be going to a local cafe. It could be calling into a girlfriend's house for half an hour. It, you just have to find that break away from the grind and from the desk and from the pressure and the, from the weight and allow your creativity to come through and allow your ideas to come through. So then you're much clearer and what the thing that you're creating is yours and not everyone else's. Um, that's where so many people get stuck. There are a million and one opportunities for all of us out there but we can't do them all. And there are plenty of opportunities out there that we could do based on our experience, based on our expertise, based on what we've learned, what we know, but we have to then narrow down again to find the thing that we actually want to do. And that's what I've been doing in the last, what is it, seven years since I left my corporate life, <laughs> is experimenting and reiterating and experimenting and reiterating to find what it is that I actually want to do with my life. Um, it sounds a little corny, but you know, we get one precious life and I don't want to waste it doing things that don't inspire me. I don't want to waste it doing things that drain me and make me feel heavy and make me feel a bit sad and make me feel stressed. I don't want that. I don't want stress in my life. Um, I want to find what lights me up. I want to find how I can make the world a better place. 
in my own way and that's what I want for you too. So get rid of the, the stress, get rid of the need to have everything figured out. Go play, go experiment, go reset and recalibrate regularly. Go and find your happy place and just be okay with being there. Um, you don't have to have everything figured out tomorrow, next week, the week after. But what you do need is someone there that can guide you and support you and keep you accountable and help you through the mind shit that's going to come up when you are trying to do something new and when you are trying to stretch outside your current reality because there is a world of opportunity out there and there's a whole version of you that you haven't even met yet that doesn't exist in your current sphere but she's in there and she's waiting to come out and play so you need to let her do that um, anyway it means a lot to me that's why I'm sharing it with you um, I could quite happily sit by this lake. Hi Jackie, how are you? I'll show you my little view this morning. So this is my morning view. It's not bad, it's been very rainy and gloomy. It was really misty off the lake this morning. Um, so I'm just here walking with my puppy dog. I've lost her somewhere, she's in the trees. <laughs> just sharing the importance of reset and then we need to get away from our laptops and get out of our space to go and clear our head and let our creative ideas, or our creativity come through because it's so easy to get stuck in consumption, get stuck in the worry and the fear and all of the other shit that goes along with, you know, building a business that doesn't exist yet. <laughs> um, so yeah, go back and watch the replay. I've got to hit the road, grab my dog and run back home to get these kids to school. But I'm glad you, I'm glad you jumped on. I'm glad you're doing okay. Um, I'll have to pop in and see how your other challenges and that are going. So anyway, oh, it's magical out here. I love it. I love, love, love it. I love that this is how I get to spend my days. Down here, every day by the water. Like I said before, it's like two minutes from my house. So um, I'm very blessed that I can walk out my front door and basically be here very, very quickly. And these are my bug stoppers because the bugs are full on around the water at the moment. <laughs> anyway, Jackie, have an amazing evening. I know it's night time for you over there. Um, go back and watch the replay. Let me know what you think. Let me know if this resonates. Let me know where your reset place is. And if you don't have one, go find one. I think for you, Jackie, you're like me. You need to be outside. You love your walks outside and the greenery and the space. And I'm a country girl. I will always be a country girl. I love the cities for short periods of time. And then I need my space again. Then I need to have this open space and greenery around me. And that's what keeps me happy. All right, I'm going to find my dog and head home and have some breakfast and get these kids to school. But it's been great chatting with you. I will talk to you soon. See ya. You too, Jack. You too, Jackie. See ya.